horses. All right, welcome everybody to Real World Content Team Meeting for June 27th, uh, it's 2022, uh, it's a good life. And actually, I just actually had some really wonderful, like, you know, I feel comfortable saying this because it's, it's, it's gonna happen, um, but we have, we have some new team members coming on board uh, to Real World as a company. Um, and uh, one of which is a uh, throws parties, throws events for Hit Record and for Legion M. And I met him through one of my Lyft riders last week, uh, and uh, who also happened to have worked with Legion M. And then she found out that Jeff from Legion M is, has invested in our company on um, WeFunder and wrote a nice little note, public note. Um, and so, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a really, really wonderful guy named Bernie Brakeman. And so shout out to Bernie. Uh, but we are going to be collaborating for next week's Justice for Hire Doppel event in New York. And for the Comic-Con, Bernie's got a Love and Thunder Comic-Con event happening that Real World's going to be a part of on the 20th and uh, in San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, there's a bunch of Comic-Con stuff that, that I personally need to get done so that we can all be there. So it's good, right? I got to get you that ticket. And uh, so all that stuff I'm, I'm going to uh, be working on this. Uh, like I said, uh, a bunch of stuff pulled my time this weekend and I, I got to get back on it today and I still got to get out there and do some driving. So <laughs> it's all going to be great. Um, and what else? Uh, and a, 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 a wonderful publicist that uh, we needed a publicist. Um, and uh, Bernie hooked us up with a publicist immediately. Um, wow. And, and I just, I literally just got off a, uh, an hour call with her and um, she totally gets it and is, is willing to come on the team and, and to, to make it work with us. So, um, uh, so shout out to Lisa from Link PR and, um, and we're, we're going to get all, get those deals finalized in the coming days, but this is actually a huge development. It's, it's like literally huge for, for us in terms of, you know, we do uh, like all of us have our thing that we do, you know, and then there are people that do things that we don't do. And like to have a successful company, we all need to work together. You know? yes. so, so this is uh, like having them with their skill sets come on board um, is, is game changing for us. So um, like it's a, it's a really, really wonderful moment. I'm just, once again, big shout out to Lyft. I'm so grateful for the amount, the, the, how rapidly this, it, this week marked my fourth week driving for them. And just like the rapid shift in network in the last month, uh, including right? the new heroes that we have. Yeah, dope new heroes um, and, uh, you know, like new investors and new partnerships. And so like, like for all that to come within a four week span, I, I couldn't be more um, grateful. Um, and, and, you know, just again, for any entrepreneur that, that, that really is, uh, really is pushing, it's a great, great option um, to, to, to share what you're, you're doing. So, um, and so thank you guys as well for, for uh, obviously, uh, you know, being a massive part of the infrastructure of us to, to still have creative content coming out. Uh, because you guys are actually creating content, <laughs> so I'm massively grateful for you. And um, and and this this wonderful Nike script, you know, is is, is a huge deal, uh, Guru. And thank you for the shot list. And you know, I think everything is wonderful. And I think that 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 it's a fantastic foundation for us to continue to build upon as we as we keep you know doing this uh, um, doing these types of um, you know I, I love the idea of one of us writing something for all of us. Like that's actually a huge deal. Like what, what, like just the process that, 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 that's, that's being articulated in this moment um, for, for someone to say, okay, here's the script, here's the shot list, here's like, let's all go. And for us to be able to do that, uh, and I think, you know, like I said, we'll be able to refine this process over time that I think it'll become actual technology um, yeah. and, and we'll turn it into code because this is something that, that is um, the kind of thing that that is going to get a lot of people excited when someone already wrote the script and already did the, the shot list and our technology can guide you through what you need to shoot and then you just go and do it. Um, so I, uh, this is, I think it's a really, really big deal. Um, creator shot this weekend, like significantly. He had a huge crew. Uh, I was shocked. He sent me a whole bunch of behind the scenes videos and, um, uh, and he shot with Vintage and with Dream in New York. And there was like, there was a bunch of them. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if this was for Nike or not. I didn't oh. see any Nike gear. I have no oh. idea what it's for. All I know is that they were very active this sat this past Saturday. And they're going to be very active next weekend as well. They're shooting again. Fabulous. Um, so um, 
which is really, really great. But um, I, I just wanted to sync with you guys uh, to see what guru from, from your perspective. I mean, I, like I said, I, 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 I was, I was hoping to, to shoot this last week and uh, both times my choreography session had to get moved back. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm hoping to, to, it is quite possibly unrealistic for me to shoot before I go to New York. And so I right. want to shoot, um, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible. My, um, but that being said, I think that this is not, as we said a few weeks ago, this is really not a, um, it's not time sensitive in terms of like, this needs to get out this week in terms of the final product of the Nike shoot. It's really more so that, um, that we actually put something down and can give each other notes so we can refine it to the point right. where it is, when it is ready to launch, um, that we all feel that's a great representation of what we can do as a team so that brands will start paying us to do more of it. So yes. with that said, um, how do you guys feel with where we are and any, pro like I'm interested in your in anyone's progress uh, based on the script and has anything been shot, et cetera, um, and what support you might need, we might need from each other. Um, I'm, I mean, from, from my place uh, well first i'm having a difficult time getting on uh the mobile version of our uh script our little shot list and script outline just because i, I was trying to edit mine so i had to do mine in a completely different document i hadn't tried on my mac as you see i turned it on for the first time and it's not it's not uh, working with me properly <laughs> so okay. um but uh, uh other than that like um I would I just was making sure when I went through like if there was any revisions anything that we had talked about you know um being added or changed in the script I know there were some things like I know creator said something about you know dialogue how he would say something probably a little bit differently and then um I know we were talked about you know I found uh, the problem oh I apologize so it says anyone on the link with this link can view and it should say anybody can edit and so I'm fixing that right now. Thanks. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? Well, why does he keep having this problem? I'm like, I don't know why. <coughs> anyway, okay, great. All right, you um, should be you should be good to go now. Sweet. Um, yeah. Uh, appreciate that. And totally other right. than that, like, no, 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 no. It's all good. Uh, looking through the shot list, I was just trying to make sure I, you know figured out all the shots that need to be done i mean obviously i was trying to articulate it as well as possible so like um yeah let me know yeah <laughs> i would love to go through and see you know how we could adjust it to to fit or if there's anything that needs to be clarified or et cetera et cetera et cetera um i think that's really a question sensei i'm interested in your thoughts too uh i i, I personally think that the nature of what we're doing is um, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's siloed, you know, like each one of us has our own, our own silo of shots that needs to be crafted. I think overall the story, I think the story overall is there. And I don't think all of this needs to be shot in one day. I, obviously it'd be great if you could shoot it all one day. Um, but I think it's really on each one of us. If, if no one has any notes on the script, I think it's on each one of us to go through it and be like, okay, well, I, I feel like this about my my part and I want to make this adjustment. And I think that that's, you know, if, if you feel like that about your part in any particular way, uh, we should go into it. Or if you have any thoughts, questions, or ideas, or you want any feedback. But I think otherwise it's really like, um, you know, the stuff that you can shoot on your own, like personally, like it, it, that all, all I need is me. Like I would shoot that, and if it doesn't work, then I just shoot it again, you know? But mm -hmm. if there's something else where you might be more costume centric, et cetera, and it does require a lot more um, production work for you to get to get to a place, I think that's when um, bringing up more detailed questions prior to the shoot or, or concerns prior to the shoot really make a lot of sense so that you can go to camera uh, and get, what is, get what's in, intended uh, and then, you know, be able to share that and um right <clears throat> i know we had talked about something before that was of concern 
uh, I know you say you didn't want to do something close to like the Avengers initiative, right? Because I said, oh, no, no. So you didn't want to do something close to uh, the Justice League. Yeah, I think that's just a line of dialogue. Yeah, um, so I, I I threw in uh, replacements or suggestions or things like that. I'm scrolling back up to it right now. because That was transition scene, transition outline. So this outline. is the, yeah, this is the last scene. You know, this is, uh, it, it's, it's, it's really interesting how there's so many different ways to think about a script. And uh, you, you wrote this with the intention of it being an outline, but the outline's kind of turned into the script. <laughs> but I want you to say the outline was written in, in, a, in a format that can plug and play, play into a script. script. Yeah. yeah. And so because of that, it makes me think a little bit differently about it in a, in a way that I think is actually really important for, for, uh, for culture. You know, I think huh. the, so. This I is, mean, you're getting a glimpse into my the way my brain organizes things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even for the projects that I work on with my my team, uh, 100%, like this is how I organize <laughs> my thoughts and outlining. Justice for Hire, <laughs> the, the Cooperative Fellowship Union Alliance. Well, no, I like, like use one of those, like in, insert one of those as like cooperative, uh, what was the last word, protocol? Cooperative yeah. protocol, protocol, fellowship protocol, you know, like that, 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 that. <laughs> you know, so, so there's, I, I will, I will throw like a, like, you know, potentially season five, <laughs> you know, I'm kidding. Um, but like, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's not really a spoiler alert, even though I, I, I want it to be, but it's um, the, the, we've had this storyline prepped for, for a while called worldwide retribution uh -huh. and uh, like JFH worldwide retribution. And that's because the comic series, um the what so so part of how the jfh universe will develop is that uh we start out being framed as vigilantes even though we're we're really focused on heroes culture and building a heroes culture and that there is that in that process there is it takes time for us to work through um the legal, the resistance that the law, law enforcement, et cetera, is, is putting on Justice for Hire as a company and JFH Heroes cracking down on heroes, et cetera, and us lobbying for change and protesting and all this other stuff. And like, it, it's, re it's really an, a story of, of people shifting from, from relying on other powers to relying on themselves for, mm. for, for, to, to be heroes in their own lives and, and to, to save each other. Um, mm. And so uh, part of that, pro that there's, there's the, the, the legal drama of that. There's the political drama of that. There's all these, there's the, the action um, and, and, and the, the real world consequences, et cetera. So, um, but over time, and if you look at the JFH comic, which, which I, I honestly personally finally figured out how to bridge the comic book narrative into the current stuff we're doing. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and the comic has a timeline in it, uh, especially if you downloaded the, the Knuckle Sandwich edition, uh, uh, where, <laughs> where you see the, the full uh, JFH Universe timeline, like which is you know old, but, and we're gonna be, but we use it as reference. There's something called Worldwide Retribution, and uh, what the negative framing for what Justice for Hire can be called is the retribution industry, where a uh, where clients hire heroes and teams of heroes to do whatever they need. And that is the, that is the negative framing of, of what this hero's culture can be. It's really less about retribution. It's really about more about like healing and building, but uh, the, there are people that would use it as that. And then uh, we would be slandered in the press as retribution teams and et cetera. Um, so I, 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 that's a very long way. I'm happy that I said it on video because now I can personally reference it, but that was a long winded way of me saying that there, that the concept of worldwide protocol uh, of, to me is something that um, to be activated and potentially introduced in this one little video, because I think this one little video could be a big video, big little video. And, <laughs> um, and so I just love the idea of, uh, I, I love the word protocol Um and since we're all, I mean, I, I love the fact that you said justice for hire in there. I mean, this is just a line, but the whole thing is that the line, this is one of those things where, where uh, the, the line can be, is actually yes. fairly weighted. Um, yeah. So 
we are maybe even calling it GFH Worldwide Protocol. Something like well, that. I wanted to, I wanted to put the name in there because no no one has said it yet. Yeah. In any of our dialogue, so I wanted it to be at least at least if it's going to be a part of Nike, you know, I want it to. I, I wanted there to be something like. Cause I thought about that too. Like I thought about, all right, JFH worldwide protocol, you know, like totally, but some, there's something different about it being, you know, you're hearing justice for hire. Oh shit. What's happening. Like justice mm. for hire fellowship protocol or activate fellowship, uh, activate justice for hire fellowship protocol. And that's where we con you know, contact all of us, do all the things. <laughs> yeah, I, I like <laughs> Whatever line. comes next. Yeah. Right. The, the alliance right. protocol activate just right. higher alliance protocol i yeah. mean that's that's kind of cool um and uh, like or even, even if it was worldwide protocol i mean i think that the the cool thing about worldwide is that it's it's saying what we're talking about if we're essentially right. saying to a brand that we want he, we can get heroes worldwide to create something f like within this story that we built specifically for your brand um that might be an interesting way to introduce the concept of like, um, cause Alliance, you know, if we really just think about the meaning of the word, like Alliance is, um, the Alliance protocol might be, uh, or, or, or an Alliance protocol. Now we're talking about like world building and, and, and the lexicon here, but that might be something closer to, um, us teaming up with another organization that is not necessarily justice for hire. Like, like what, like there will be times where we team up with police. So like, that's right. like an Alliance protocol. And that to me is like a really, th those storylines that we do that, uh, some right. of which are already written, that to me is, is like really- But I'm really thinking, <clears throat> I'm thinking in that sense, I mean, I feel like you already understand where I was trying to go yeah. with it of like, you know, it being like that, it con like it connecting to every hero who has the app yeah. and saying it's time. We, it like, like at that last line of like calling all heroes. Yeah, it's time and like that meaning like it's time like we're it's time for us to band together and like remember i, I don't know if you remember we talked about it at one of the hero meetups uh, a while back we, i think it was during a conversation while mouse was there and whatnot but we had talked about um uh we were talking about the ninja event that was to take place yeah. and what we were kind of hoping to see in, in, in like the finale of it all of like us having a big Avengers moment of coming together and stopping this. And I was feeling like this is like that, this is the, the, <clears throat> the spark and the lead up to the things that we need to do in order to get to that place of like coming together and, and where, where, we push and push on the question, you know, is it morally right to continue to, to, to just work uh, or just be heroes for hire, but should we be more than just heroes for hire? Should we be heroes who are also hired? Like, you know, like the heroes that go out there and do the things without it being, you know, reported in the app, you know, it's, it's things that they come across. It's, it's heroes going on patrol for, you know, just the, the, those sorts of things. I and so, like, that's really we, case by case, isn't it? Well, because we were we were talking about we were talking about the 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 ninjas essentially, because um, I mean it's already recorded and out there. Um, so we were talking about the ninjas essentially being us in the end. You know, it's been like us trying to get you know this next phase going because there's been a lot of that like pushback from from the public how you were saying in the narrative itself like there's pushback from the public thinking that they're just vigilantes thinking there's all these things well what gets us together to unite us in a way that shows not just each other ourselves but the entire world that we are not just here to be this 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 um <clears throat> vigilante force but force for good in the world and so on and so forth. We're Earth's protectors, solidifying ourselves essentially as Earth's protectors in our own spaces, you know? So in that case, to me, that sounds more like an ongoing issue than a single plot point. Grant, this is all broad strokes, but in something like Avengers, that's cinematic, where the idea was for them to pump out large, big budget affairs that, you know, regular intervals, where something like Justice for Hire, that's a low budget, 
but ideally high frequency. You know, you can't just put out things that listen. Right, to essentially, but page. this is that this is that spark. The, the, like the this commercial essentially that we're creating right now this nike commercial we're creating like this the the, the beats we wanted to hit we're making sure it sits narratively within the universe of what's like currently going on you know it gives you a good good sense of the 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 product that we're doing all of that stuff but like within that like the narrative that we're drawing from is something that is just starting and that's not like I'm giving you the end point when I was explaining that last little piece, but like, there's going to be stuff that happens before that. This is like, this is the catalyst for what we're probably, what we're going to be saying within the coming season. Um, not this one, the first one, but season two, right? We you, cause the first season was based around, excuse me, cowboy. Am I wrong? Uh, yes. Well, no, season one will also, uh, and, and, and I understand what both you guys want to address what both of you guys are saying. Um, season one includes cowboy and will bleed into the ninjas. Um, the ninja, the catalyzing what this video, and I think we have to be, um, there, there's some, there's some stuff that we should be mindful of, like moving forward with this, but I think, and, uh, but just to be to clear, to clarify, um, one, the, so ninjas will be in, in at the end of season one, two, um, the conversation we had on the meetup. Um, what we, uh, the, the, the end of that conversation was that uh, the ninjas would likely be a group of uh, an, the, an international network of like martial arts masters and their students that have, that are not necessarily justice for higher heroes, but are aligned with the spirit of martial arts and want to make sure that the spirit of martial arts is what is instilled within our heroes uh, and that that heroism is not limited to uh, uh, um, essentially like being guns for hire. And that there was a lesson that they were attempting to teach us, uh, even though that they, they were copycats and ninjas that were copycats that uh, are, are, would, you know, gave some of them a bad name, you know? Um, so I think that that's, and, and that's a narrative that, that I think still needs to be flushed out more thoroughly, but the way I, I think that's uh, the way this, uh, and, and Sensei, yes, I, I, I totally understand what you're saying in terms of, of uh, um, higher frequency, lower budget, and, um, and there, there's, there's a reality of... Where I was going with that was just, I was saying that in something like Marvel, because their thing is to spend a billion dollars and pump out something, the idea is that issues are ideally resolved. Whereas for something that's more episodic, I would see legitimacy as being an ongoing conflict. Yes. As 100%. in it's not just you do something and suddenly everyone respects you, everyone loves you. It's you have to be, you know, this is a fantastical series, but they're realistic elements, strong realistic elements, where we, in today's world, you know, turn on the news, there are a million opinions about everything. Something like just for hire, if it was in something approaching this reality would never be universally considered legitimate. There will be supporters and detractors like everything else. I just wrote this down uh, on, on, on the themes. I have a, a theme notepad here um, for, for the series. And I love that uh, legitimacy, legitimacy is an ongoing conflict. Um, that is absolutely a, a, a huge part of, of, of uh, has to be a running theme. Um, and, and so thank you for saying it like that. Um, and, and I think that the, uh, Sensei, if, if I understand you correctly, and I, I, I believe that, that we're on the same page here, you're essentially saying that the, um, you, you, you're talking about the ninja event and the resolution of it being something that, that um, uh, may not necessarily um, <clears throat> may not necessarily be a large one-off uh, so solution-oriented episode. Um, and, I, and I think that, that where we are out of character in our current, like, you know, Guru, Sensei, and Jan on a call right now in this moment of time, uh, uh, where we are is that we need to establish a structure for the series that does not yet exist and that is, that is coming into reality now. Uh, that that the content that we create on here supports, and so we're kind of doing things a little bit, uh, uh, 
you know, in, in a different order right now. So right now there's the social content, but then we have the, the, uh, the, 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 the premium footage that's been shot, et cetera. And all of that needs to be constructed in a way that leads us to a point where we can actually do a large live event that is narratively driven, that is shot with the intention of it being a, a larger Avengers-like moment where there is a, a stamp within the timeline of JFH that said, this happened on this day, and now all things moving forward from that day are changed because of this event. And, the, and so I would see the Ninja event being probably the first one of, 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 of its kind. Like Cowboy is considered a universe event because everybody can be affected by Cowboy. Um, but it's not, it's not a systemic problem, meaning that the Cowboy is one person and anybody can encounter him, but the ninjas are a systemic problem that'll be everywhere and that we need to actually band together to stop uh, versus Cowboy who, you know, one hero might be able to, or a small group of heroes might be able to stop him, uh, even though the, his storyline is connected to a larger systemic problem. Um, so, so I, I, again, I think that the, the answer, the answer here, uh, so that we can, we can dive deep into the, the, the Nike shoot is that, um, while we should be cautious on connecting something so weighted to a brand that has not paid us, um, to shoot something for them and, and, and potentially might even block us and say, you cannot use this. Um, because it is unauthorized. That is a total potentiality, even though I, I highly doubt that'll happen. Um, but uh, I think that there is the, the reality is that this is strong enough for it to, at the very least, be a, a marker uh, toward this larger event that we are building toward that can only happen if we have the community and financial resources to actually pull it off. And so, and, and we are on that trajectory. It's just a matter of us getting there and, and keep doing what we're doing to, to, to ensure that this happens. Um, so, so I do think we should still be planning for a, a, a large ninja event. I think this short um, makes a lot of sense working toward that, even if it's, even if we go and we shoot another scene that might be like even more definitive in the timeline from a cinematic pacing standpoint, um, where we're, sh we're shooting on professional cameras, et cetera, um, which will likely happen anyway. I think it's important for us to be able to have a, sm a, a, a smaller moment shot on our phones that uh, can be canonical and can be like, hey, you know, it, 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 we can look at this as if we're really thinking within timeline, like this could be the first moment that we, we, we alerted the, the crew for ninjas. And then you know, we can always say that, hey, we alerted you guys last time and not as many people responded. Now then we shoot it in the larger, you, can, you know, we can always make it funny, make it, make it cool and make it even more meaningful uh, when we go to a pro set, et cetera, uh, but still utilize and reference the, the, the footage we're shooting here. So I think that long uh, long explanation, as long as you feel good, Sensei, about what's in your script, your part of the script, and Guru feels good of what's in his, then I would love it if we, you know, next week could review some shots of uh, just so we can be, you know, uh, moving toward forward every week, uh, some shots from this shoot, and then we can give each other notes. And if we feel like it's really, really strong, then we're, we're in a position where it's in the can, and it, it's ready for cutting. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think that we'll, we'll be, we'll be better off for it. What do you guys think? Yeah, good to have some goals in place so we know what we're doing when we're doing it. Okay, uh, awesome. Um, so, so let's let's aim for next week. I will not be able, more than likely, not be able to shoot for next week. But if you guys can uh, be able to show some stuff for for each other, and we can we can sit and workshop or or talk about it. Uh, Sensei, are you are you okay for for July fourth, or do you want do you want to move it for another day? That should be fine. I usually have Mondays off just for this. So, you know. Amazing, man. Thank you. Thank you for creating space. Um, another thing I, I want to, uh, like, I had the idea last night, and, and this may not be the week for it, but it also might be the week for it, uh, is memes. And it's, it's, it's connected to an idea that, that Sensei said uh, about, about meme culture and, and some of the stuff that he was creating, that you are creating. Um, 
but I, I, I just, the, the idea of the, of an image with some words on it. And we have, I don't know if we're realistically going to be able to do a, a hero meetup this week. We missed, I think we're going to miss the June. We didn't do one in June. Um, mm. But next week we're going to, we have this doppel event and it might be as simple as um, I'm thinking that potentially we could do a meme of, of yourself with an action figure. I don't know. I'm thinking about this. Like, you, like maybe, maybe it's yourself dressed up as your hero and you're looking at an action figure and you're like, how come you're not me? Like, I just think that that just that one photo um, would be a great lead in to, to let people know that, Hey, our event is next Friday. Come get your own action figure. Uh, I, I think that could be dope. I mean, what, 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 interested in your guys' thoughts. Um, I think that'd be cool. Um, cons- I won't be at that one in New York, but I think that'd be good for those of you who are going out there to be able to get some of those shots. So that'd be super dope. Well, even if you're not going to be here for the New York event, like we're still in a, it is not, a, I, I'll put it this way. It is not the best deal structure. I'm saying it publicly. <laughs> we, we do not have the best deal structure right now with Doppel. Uh, and that's because Jan was tired when I said yes to the deal. Uh, and I, it's, it's straight up like, like it is, it is a performance issue on my side that I, I recognize that I even told a partner there. I was like, Hey, I just realized that I have a performance issue in my life and I made a mistake. <laughs> and that's because, you know, the, what the, the, it's right now we're in a position where they're testing the partnership with us. Ah. It really shouldn't be like that. It should really be like, oh, hey, we totally understand and value what you guys like do. And so there's no need to test the partnership, but we're testing the partnership. Um, and so what, what I'm getting at is that the guru, even in you shooting a shot now is super helpful because that's going to help us get the LA event. Because if the New York event doesn't go well, then we're not going to get the LA event. Right. So we need to get the LA event and get it going great. Uh, vintage just got his action figure of himself today. Um, and uh, as like a, a promo test, uh, and, and, and which is going to be great. It actually came with its legs broken. So they're going to send him a new one. <laughs> He's like, Hey Jan, can you send me? <laughs> is it a, <laughs> is it one? a, is it a posable or is it a figurine? It's a figurine. Okay. Yes. So Cause I saw, I saw a couple of different, um, poses that, uh, flabbergasted. The Angelique, yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. How did you know? I was thinking of her. <laughs> Angelique took, yeah. Yeah, she took, she took, uh, she, like, she, it's, I, I'm hoping they used the one that, that was the, her favorite that, that, um, uh, which is, which is pretty sp- spectacular. She, she's really done a great job bringing the, the energy of the character. Um, nice. so yeah, it's not posable. It's, it's a figurine. It's okay. technically an cool. action figurine or it's technically a figurine, period. And we're calling it action. But yeah, yeah. because of Black Sands calling their stuff an anime, I, mean, I was like, you know what? Like that is not an anime by any means. <laughs> However, <laughs> I do like how you've used it as a buzzword to, uh, you know, uh, to get people's attention. Um, yes, but it is a figure in action. So that's why I was like, it's a, it a figurine, figurine with an action pose if you so choose to do it. <laughs> right. So about this upcoming event, I actually hadn't seen that on the website. Uh, you hadn't seen uh, uh, what, what on the website? Any promo for the, it? Uh, upcoming New York event. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me. I checked the events page like a day or two ago. I don't remember seeing that. Yeah. I mean, so I'm sending a message out about that right now. Because if it's this Friday, I can almost definitely make it. But it's next Friday, so if you... no, ne- so next Friday is is the event in New York. The eighth. Uh, are you, will you be able to make it? So that's the eighth, not the first, right? Yes. Yeah, probably. I'll uh, definitely make sure I can, but uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, that should be fine. Sweet. Also for our next meetup for this, for our content meeting, um, <clears throat> I will have my solo shots done. Um, just because I have to link up with my uh, ninjas for my scene, and yeah, <laughs> nice. It'll be uh, okay, super awesome. fun. Yeah, I mean, any, any dailies. Um, I, I think that's one of the things that we'll we'll improve upon over time. You know, like our, our content team. We, <clears throat> I, I'm all about innovating, 
Uh, cause so I, that's why I mentioned your outline meet me to script structure is, is interesting to me. Um, so I'm, I'm totally down to innovate, but I also want to make sure that we're referencing, um, you know, the hundred plus years of filmmaking when it comes yeah. to lexicon. And, um, so I, I, uh, you know, I think over time, um, I, that's why I said dailies, you know, like to right. be able to watch the dailies of your, of, uh, uh, of whatever you guys have shot, um, uh, which I believe stems from the concept of what you shot that day uh, right. <laughs> um, and, and then reviewing it at that night uh, with, with, with the production team. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Just in terms of like, you know, we, we, us getting really, really clear about uh, the language per shot, because I look at shot, shot language lexicon as the same as martial arts technique. Mm -hmm. uh, and to be able to say like the difference between a, a sun punch and a reverse punch um, and the difference between a jab and a cross, um, the difference between uh, uh, regular breathing and reverse breathing, uh, like all these things like, like, you know, can all impact the single singular technique. So I think that the more uh, depth that we ease of access so that anybody can come in and get it while also depth of knowledge is going to be something that, I, that, um, that, that we'll, we'll build over time. Uh, but I think we're off to an amazing start. Um, Fabulous. So, so, so for this week, let's do the thunderclap as a meme of ourselves with an action figure. Okay. And um, okay, huh? I think I, I think I know what I can do. Yeah, I gotta I've figure some, my, mine out too. I'm like, hmm. I've done something like this before, but just a little different. How come you're not me? <laughs> <laughs> How come you're not me? Yeah, no, I'm down. Yeah, no, that, 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 that sounds flyers. like a good idea. Um, I was trying to think if there was anything else to ask. No, actually, yeah, that'll. That, I think it sounds good. Amazing. Uh, so, so, and then and we'll talk more about the uh, the Comic Con events. Um, yes. After that as well, but let, let so so anything you can shoot for Nike for next week for this week, thunderclap of, uh, and I'll send you the the details for uh oh. likely the thunderclap will next week will be the the graphic or a video that that um we'll have put together this week for the event i did have an idea yes kind of moving forward outside of something that's uh an event uh, outside of events i think our thunderclap should be the things that each other are making right now um like in mixed in with the promoting and pumping up and, and introducing like the new characters and the, or excuse me, new heroes and the new uh, things that they're doing, like from creator having music outside and, and, you know, we're promoting Ragdoll to, to, excuse me, uh, uh, you know, because, because I was thinking, because we're also putting in the time and effort into, into those. So having like pr promoting one of um, Sensei's like, like, how to how to videos or the the different kinds of like hits and stuff like that video like being able to do that or my my um what was it my my other jfh commercial the jfh real world commercial yes. like how, getting them to invest like being able to promote those things too because it gets that kind of stuff still circulating same with you know what creator posted etc 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 because it gets that stuff out there circulating so it's not just us pushing out one one of our own things but it's also we're we're continuing to to support to recirculate yeah to recirculate and to yeah. support the uh the that 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 over overarching goal of driving to you know we find her yeah no this is, that's, <laughs> that's 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 great that's uh, i totally agree and that's something i i i uh i was looking at some of the, the previous videos i actually was watching your your uh invest in in uh what am i doing oh well, i'm on mission for justice for hire and i was just like yeah, we gotta repost this. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> we gotta like recirculate this because this is this is evergreen, you know. So um, no, I totally agree. Um, yeah, no, this the, I think this is this is great. And, and and but specifically for the next two weeks, Doppel is a big milestone for us. Right. Somehow it's got to work out. It will work out. Vintage is gonna do a shoot there with the legendary Cypress crew. The legendary Cypress crew reaching out to me, which which are you know that if you're in any one place in the world for hip hop on a Friday night. It is, it is with at Legendary Cyphers at Union Square. And nice. so those guys are in our cast already and uh, Vintage wrote a script for them and they're going to shoot likely at the store on next Friday. So there's just so much stuff that needs to be figured out and, um, and we're going to figure it out. 
So it's gonna be oh, good. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. But for this week, meme, action figure, and whatever shoot for for uh, whatever you guys can shoot for the Nike thing for the review next week. And then we'll just take it from there. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Any thoughts or ideas or any uh, – uh, uh, what is that wonderful question that we always ask at the end of this thing, which is uh, are any ways we can improve, essentially? I, I think, you, Guru, you just offered one, which is, is great. Sensei? Sensei, sensei is, is probably still meditating on whether or not he should upgrade to uh, Windows 11. <laughs> Uh, for me, I, it's mainly a matter of I'm thinking of uh, how to get these shots in because I do have the time. It's just you know how that goes. Sometimes when you have enough time, you spend more time thinking about it. Do you have a green screen? I don't. Uh, hmm. I'm probably just gonna do what I do in uh, my backyard in the dark with the, whatever it takes to make it uh, still appropriately visible. Totally. Hmm. Oh, oh. You know who would be great to to talk to? Who does who does wonderful by themselves in getting their their standalone shots? Uh, is Yulong. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, reach out, reach out to Yulong. Yulong will have some creative ideas on how to get get some of those shots. If not, right, he you shot know, his own fight scenes against himself. <laughs> yeah. And, and I will say, just to, if you if you are going to be shooting uh, against yourself, um, <clears throat> that there, are, you know, even pulling the fist back from 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 camera, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, or punching into camera, like like those things can be very effective if you wanted to do um, multiple heroes, uh, mul multiple characters yourself. So like, and and not just you know straight on, but like changing the angle and and like you know, you, there's just so many different ways to to do it. So um, if you if you need any any uh, ideas there, let us know. Yeah, cheers. You know, originally I was thinking that I would try and get some help for this, but right now I'm thinking it might be good just to get the skill of soloing these things. Yeah. Even if I ever do it again, it's good to know how. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Well, I think the, on the one shot I'm con uh, interested in how that would come off is um, the Nike... The, uh, oh no, you're gonna do a swoosh thing. That's right. Yeah, he's he's around the arm. Yeah, this. So it's gonna be a low right. diagonal diagonal shot, or yeah, low shot, low angle shot. Nice. You getting that Nike swoosh? Uh, <laughs> ah! Yeah, you you, you could probably make that the, the 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 tie thing work by holding it behind your neck or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that because I'd feel bad about grotting somebody else, but if it's me, <laughs> I know what I can take. So, so you'd you'd play the ninja. You'd be in the ninja outfit doing that too. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I'm 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 hoping that you use if you have a black ninja outfit that you use a white uh, shoe shoestring shoe shoe yes. lace, so you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> But I was thinking Ninja Alpha would be more or less just kind of stuff on hand, you know, like black sweats, you know, black shirt, mask, you know? Yeah, exactly. Kind of like Ninja, kind of like a burglar, just Jeez. because full on Ninja, those costumes are so fragile. Yeah, totally agree with you. Totally. All my Ninja outfits have been makeshift. Yeah. So, yes, I mean, I this is a, true. <laughs> Thirty-five dollar one for Halloween, and uh, it lasted that Halloween. Ah, you know, they're not built for it. No, they're built for action. They're built for a day. You, you know, know, night. Well, let night. us know whatever any support you need, and and like we're here. Okay. And, um, I gotta jump, guys, and I'm super grateful for you. Love you guys, and thank you as usual. Okay, good luck with your case. Oh, thanks, yes. man.
I mean, I know we're recording this, not to get too much into that, but, you know, good luck. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. And, uh, and anybody who's watching, justiceforhire.app to join the cast and wefunder.com slash R-E-E-L-W-U-R-L-D to invest in real world. We're making movies and shows with the world. Anybody can join the cast from their phone and join us in building cinematic universes with, with all of us. So love you guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take care.